So first, this is one of my favorite places in the Bay Area that we're in today, the Computer History Museum. I love going from seeing the punch cards all the way around to the Atari and the Nintendo and Playstations and then ending at the self-driving cars. And so it's awesome that Georgia Tech now has an exhibit here for wearable computing by basically the best person in the world to do that, who's Thad. And I remember my freshman year of college, walking around the College of Computing and seeing Thad just wander around with things all over him and wearing like these random things on his neck and, and everywhere. And he was that guy that the undergrads would talk about that always just wore things. And this was before glass and this was before uh, things like that were cooler. It was before Fitbit. It was before Nike embedding things into their, their um, shoes. It was before all that. And being able to see all of that here is really exciting. It's really impressive seeing how how far everything has come in, in so few uh, years. Now seeing all of what's there and seeing where it's going to go next and now being able to be a part of developing that, that's really powerful. What puts Georgia Tech in such a great position for um, the future of technology is the people that it brings in, from the students to the professors. The students are always hungry to learn, uh, great to network with, and, and I met new people here from Georgia Tech that were just happy to see more Georgia Tech people. And the professors, every day that I was there, they're always ready to help. Not only are they trying to teach, but they're also trying to learn as well. I love seeing where all of our alumni have gone. Some of us are working at startups, some of us are now CEOs of our own companies, um, there are folks leading charges in nonprofits. There are folks um, who've taken several years off to travel the world. I love getting all those folks together and seeing where they are. So I've thought a lot lately about what makes a movement successful or what makes an initiative successful or even what makes a company successful, partly because we're trying to start up um, this little startup inside the White House. and. Georgia Tech has a few things. We have a great leader at the forefront of technology in that. There is a lot of support from the leadership around Georgia Tech in general. Um, and then the rest of the people are already there. You have Atlanta, you have Georgia Tech, you have the, some of the best students in the world coming to Georgia Tech. And when you start with some of the best people, that's part of the hardest part, right? It's great having an idea, but when you but having to find all those people to work with you can be a very difficult thing. That's partly why companies have such a hard time hiring. Georgia Tech has that. And now you have an awesome idea, a great technical leader, a lot of support from all the leaders around that. And it's a great foundation to really, really drive forward in whatever it is we're doing at Tech.